So I've created vignette tutorials a couple times in the past, especially on the main channel, but I wanted to create one here because I found a new way that's even faster and quicker to add a vignette to your documents, to your images in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and hop in and find out how. All right, so I've got an image opened up here, just kind of a basic plain image. And what I wanna do is come down to the bottom section here and this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like a contrast circle. When you click on that, you have a lot of options of different things to add to your layer panel. And in this case, we're gonna add a gradient. Once I click on that, you'll notice that it actually adds a layer up here in your layer panel that's a gradient fill. And then we have a bunch of settings here in our dialog box. To start with for a vignette, I want this to be a radial gradient. And then I can select the color and the opacity of the different colors in my gradient. You'll notice there's some presets, so you can click on some basics, like we could go from a black to a white gradient. Uh, and then there's some adjustments here. So you can have this smoothness slider here, as well as adjusting the colors and the opacity in your gradient. Now this is one spot that I would recommend only doing one color on your gradient. That way it doesn't get muddy in the middle, especially if we're going to a transparent center section of the gradient and we want a darker outer section or a colored outer vignette. So here I'm just gonna click on the white section or the white uh, swatch there and just drag it down to completely get rid of it. And then I'm gonna click on this swatch at the top, which actually is the opacity and make that zero. So now we're going from a black on the left side to transparent on the right. And I'm gonna hit okay for the time being. And all we need to do to make this on the corners is reverse this gradient out. You can also change where the colors or swatches are on that gradient slider, but I just click reverse to sort of flip flop back and forth if it's not the exact gradient that I want. Another helpful checkbox here is dither. That's gonna help with the blending of the gradient so you don't get as much banding in it. And the last piece here is adjusting our gradient. So obviously this is a little bit too harsh. It even cuts off too much right here. There's two ways we can do this. The first is with scale. It starts at 100%, but if we take this slider out, you'll notice that that scale takes that gradient from that center and just scales it up in a way, almost like scaling up the layer itself. The other thing that you can adjust is you can go back into your gradient and tweak where these sliders hit. So I can grab this transparent side and I can pull that in to say, you know what, this is gonna cut off sooner and it's gonna maybe make that uh, vignette a little bit closer to the edge. I can also adjust this in-between slider to say, I want the cutoff to be really close here and I wanna include a lot more transparency um, or I can move it the other way to include more of a blended black and then it's gonna cut off pretty sharply. So that's where the smoothness slider comes in. That's also where just stretching this gradient out further comes in. So you can work with that to tweak this to be the exact uh, gradient slider that you want for your vignette. I find that the scale slider is probably one of the easier ones to adjust to make that vignette just right on the edges of your document. Now a couple more things here. First off, you can make this a colored gradient. So if we take this black swatch, we could just click on that, just a single click, and we could make it any color that we want. So that's a really quick and easy way to make a colored uh, vignette. And then the last piece here, I'll hit okay, is I would generally, not always, but generally turn the opacity blending mode of this layer to multiply. That's just gonna help it blend in better with whatever your image is or whatever it is that's underneath that layer. However, it may not always work, especially if you are using a colored gradient that's gonna probably do some funky things to the colors in the image when you really just want to select that color and have that show through and not actually blend it or multiply it in. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope that helped. So you add a gradient fill. I kept saying gradient all throughout, but really we're creating a vignette with that radial gradient. Quickest way I've found to do it. And I think it's probably the best and most flexible way as well. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. For more Photoshop tutorials, hit that subscribe button on this channel and also go check me out on the main Pixel and Bracket channel. I'll see you guys next time.